Hello, I'm Karen Parry. I'm the Manager of Information Services at the Library, and I'm so happy today to be joined by Dr. Michael Nissenblatt, oncologist here in East Brunswick at Regional Cancer Care Associates. Welcome, Dr. Nissenblatt. Thank you. And I am so excited about a program that the doctor will be holding at the library on Wednesday, April 6th, entitled, Is Cancer in Your Family? Is Cancer Due to Bad Genes or Bad Luck? What an interesting title and what an interesting topic. Welcome, Dr. Nissenblatt, and can you please tell us a little bit about your program on Wednesday, April 6th? Absolutely. You know, there is, uh, at this time, about 1.7 million cases of cancer in the United States every year, about 600,000 deaths. The data just came out from the American Cancer Society, Cancer Journal. And last year, there was an amazing article that was published from Johns Hopkins by Bert Vogelstein and Christian uh, Tamasulo. And the study was entitled, The Cause of Cancer, Is It Bad Luck? And the final analysis was that about two-thirds of cancers seem to be caused by the unpredictable mutation events that take place in genes that can then promote cancer. That led to an enormous controversy. If cancer is bad luck, then what difference does it make whether we smoke or drink? What a difference does it make whether we take care of ourselves with physical exercise and cautious diet? If it's going to happen anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Furthermore, it was felt that only one-third of all of the cancers were attributable to genes that we would inherit from mom or dad or from other mechanisms that we would not have control over. And so the idea was that if cancer was something that was going to be unpredictable and bad luck, we wouldn't do anything. Well, I take exactly the opposite step. I see patients every day who think that their cancer is not controllable, who thinks that their cancer is caused by something that they did, for, did to themselves, and therefore they feel a sense of guilt they feel a sense of hardship, they feel that they've harmed their families. And I tell them that's wrong. No matter whether you were a smoker, a drinker, or had some other process that led to cancer, for example, hepatitis, or a parvovirus, or a virus such as HPV, these th things that can cause cancers. In which case, we can modify our lifestyle. We can modify what we eat and what we drink, and it does make a difference in terms of our futures. There are many genes in our body. There are thought to be about 22,000 of them. Of these, about 125 of them have something to do with cancer. Some of these genes are genes which are gatekeeper genes. A simple mutation in one of these genes can open up a gate and lead to a flood line of other events that lead to cancer. Other genes can then promote the progression of a cancer. We call these driver genes, just like if you're driving a car. But if you're a driver in a car, there can also be passenger genes, genes that just come along the, for a ride and which don't really cause the cancer or promote the cancer, but are part of life. Well, these genes, some of them are genes that are like stepping on the gas. We call them oncogenes. Others of them are like stepping on the brakes, breaker or suppressor genes. All of these genes can be modified by our lifestyle. All of these genes may be affected by what we do. The plan of this program that I'm going to present is to tell the public that there are things that we can do. We can take charge of our lives, we can modify our lifestyle, and we can reduce the risk of breast cancer, whether it's sporadic or whether it's hereditary. And when it's hereditary, we can be proactive, or I like to use the word proleptic, proleptic and do investigations that determine the risks that determine whether something might be developing already at a very early stage, and then we can interrupt the natural history of their high risk of breast cancer and prevent them from developing breast cancer altogether. By the way, it's important for the public to know that this, in the case of breast cancer one and breast cancer two, that men are also at risk. Men are also at risk for sporadic breast cancer, whom I see quite frequently. I want the public to know that we can do many things, that guilt is not on the table in this lecture, but being knowledgeable, being informed, 
being self-armed can help us be able to take charge of our lives. Never give up. Stopping smoking for 10 or more years reduces our risk for developing lung cancer to the same level as though we were never smokers if we have ceased for 10 years. People get worried about drinking. If it's red wine, not a problem. Inside of red wine are components, something which is called acutensinin, that reduces the risk of developing cancers of all sorts. And so life longevity that we hear from red wine can also be accompanied by reducing the risk of, of many cancers. The exercise, we're going to talk about strategies for early diagnosis. We're going to talk about who should be tested for the high-risk genes of colon cancer, the high-risk genes for lung cancer, the high-risk genes for breast and ovarian cancer. We're going to talk about strategies for prevention, whether it's sporadic or whether it's hereditary cancers. I want the public to be informed, armed, and with that, we can help together to reduce their risk of breast cancers, their risks of colon cancers, their risks of lung cancers, and many others. And I will take questions from the audience regarding treatment, diagnosis, and any strategy they wish to pursue. I invite the entire public to participate in this groundbreaking East Brunswick RCCA-sponsored program. And I thank East Brunswick Library. I thank Karen Perry for making this possible. Thank you, Dr. Nisselblad. We are so happy to sponsor this under our Just for the Health of It initiative, and we are so inspired by your knowledge and enthusiasm, and I welcome all of our residents to please come to Dr. Nissenblatt's program Wednesday, April 6th at 7 o'clock at the library. Thank you, Dr. Nissenblatt. Thank you.